Yo, what's good and welcome back to the channel. This is Agent R. We're always ready here. And in this video, I wanted to go over a new tool I saw um, recently in a video. Shout out to Apos Vox uh, about this uh, AI tool called Powder. And the reason that I'm highlighting it here, uh, as you all know, if you are been watching the channel, um, we are playing Black Myth Wukong uh, and we're having a blast with it. Uh, this session here was about like two hours long and I was thinking, man, I need to go back and like do some editing of this stuff, these highlights and upload this content. And lo and behold, this video shows up in my feed with the promise of taking all of this footage and chopping it up into clips. Uh, and I think there's like an even feature up here. I'm not sure if it has to be from your social media uh, or not uh, if you, from the video source itself, but it can try to then combine all those into like a, mo a clip montage essentially. Now, the reason that I'm highlighting this here is because there are, this isn't like necessarily a new tool to do this. I have played with others. Uh, but this group says they use various techniques and AI and things like that to be able to try to pull out when these highlights actually are taking place. And since this game isn't in their uh, quick list of things uh, that automatically can find like what your clips are, right? Like Call of Duties, uh, Apex Legends, things like that. This game is so brand new and it's not among those games that are like clip highlights kind of thing. I was like, yeah, why not? Because, you know, editing takes up a lot of time. Honestly, I'd rather be gaming, creating more content. Um, but, you know, we're going to see the quality of this and how it goes. So I just have the screen up right here. Uh, it's breaking it down, analyzing the video. Um, I just started this off camera maybe in like 10 minutes ago. So it's going through it at least pretty quick as far as the analyzing portion of it. And we're going to show you after that uh, how we can proceed or what it gives after the fact and who knows maybe this is something that you want to try it is a free program also uh, i will link to that website in the video description and then we can look at this together to see what kind of results it does produce now keep in mind it does only work with mp4s and the codec uh, has to be uh, standard. So like for instance, I recorded this in AV1 originally. I actually had to throw this over into Handbrake uh, to put it back on, what was it, AVC? Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not remembering at the moment, but I know it, it cannot be uh, in AV1. It will not work that way. And then I put it back into the MP4 um, format. So. Uh, I'll catch you on the flip side here and when this is done, it's doing its dance, then we'll check out some of the results that it has. All right. And here we go. So it did finish. Uh, actually it was probably about like 30 minutes real talk, but that's not bad um, for that, that file size that we had. Uh, but it says AI identified highlights. Our AI has found your top gaming clips. And then we go over here, choose the clips you love, and then hit add to include them to the selection. And then you hit save select the clips to move them over. All right, so it's got some things, view selected clips. Let's see what it says. Just hit the transcript. Gunfire, screaming, and more gunfire. Uh, that's it's hilarious, seeing as how, um, yeah, there, there are no guns, at least that I'm aware of in here, but let's hit, uh, can we, can we preview this? Let me see. Okay. Okay. I do love that part. Yeah, we went ham right there. I could have swore I died right here though. Oh no, I got more skills now than I thought. 
okay uh all right so that clip was okay all right let's say if let's just see if we hit add right okay so then it highlights over here as a selected clip let's see about a different one I just well okay some of the clips are 30 seconds and others are a little longer um this one had laughter here let's play this who's laughing now it also might be analyzing because i recorded this so there are multiple channels of audio the playback might not have it yeah because see it has like the spot where it says laughter right here so if that is on the other audio track it picked up on that oh my god all right so let's say we add that one in yeah, see, it can pick up on sounds. Interesting. And let's see what this one does. Apparently, I sc screamed in this one. Okay. Oh, nice hit. Okay. Oh, wow. I got that. Okay. So I got bodied right there at the end of it, but all right. So, I mean, it, there's, if there's something going on, like, like audibly on the other track, like it's hard to tell, or I can't tell here. Cause it's at least I don't know how to like switch over to that and let's say oh here's this one just think there's a fire going on let's take a look at this one oh see now that has some clips to it oh he wanted to try me down okay so it picked up on the scream sheesh and okay <laughs> all right so let's say we want that one we're gonna add that in so we have three selected clips now it can save all of those and i don't let's see what happens we don't this video doesn't meet the criteria okay this might have to come from like a stream from like twitch or or youtube It says try. All right, so this one's been analyzed. It did save what we added over. So if we hit save selected clips, then it's gonna go ahead. Let's just give it a moment. Which that's really awesome, right? Cause what you're doing is you're just looking for certain like points. Now I did talk a lot while I was playing, so I'd have to see if it actually retains the multiple audio tracks when it does this, or if it only just selects the first one. I'll do that off camera. All right, so it has exported all three. And if I go into my videos and powder clips, there are all three of the clips so that's awesome now okay and then it actually puts them over here for you to see what's this oh okay so we can create a project out of this nice I like that maybe string them together now oh cool cool cool, cool. yeah yeah so yeah it's all like from top down so if we add this Let's just say we add this and create a new project and then we move over. Now we're in the editor. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, how much do we have in here as far as, okay. So we can make this into a short. That's cool. We can put captions on here. Nice. And it looks like we just line things up. It doesn't seem to be 
like that deep of an editor, which is perfectly fine, right? Like we're not looking for it to to do all that stuff. You know, you got your cap cuts of the world, you have, you know, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna leave the editor. Let's not save that. And then what's this auto montage? Currently only analyzed gaming videos with specifics detected events are eligible. No eligible videos found. Check what qualifies here. All right, so I'm gonna pull up their website. Oh, I see. So it's actually specific games themselves. So you'll have to do more work for games that aren't on here. Oh man, wow, they were actually able to get X Defiant on here already. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, so right now. We'll close that out because that's not going to work. It told us it wasn't. Okay, I've been quietly behind the scenes just watching this analyze uh, this analyzation of X Defiant. It seems a bit uh, chaotic at times for when it's supposed to create a clip on here, but it's pretty impressive. Uh, impressive, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> it's pretty impressive uh, the fact that it can actually pull on like those moments and just create clips for you. I mean, I would have some ideas. Uh, for these for sure i mean it cuts down a lot on all of the the l's <laughs> that i've taken that i remember when i was playing this like a couple of months ago this is pretty awesome but if we go back here uh it looks like you can actually record over some things as well so maybe we'll play with that, but I'm liking this so far. I like that it breaks it down into bites. I mean, it took 30 second pieces of them. And then from there, you can grab those clips, throw them into the video editor that you want, and then uh, do a little more with it. Uh, but if that's all you're doing, I mean, that definitely can save some time, you know, instead of having to do it uh, with a buffer uh, every however. So, I mean, that's the option. That's the traditional way of doing it in OBS. Uh, but you can just throw it all in here for like older clips or things like that that you have uploaded on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, kick, right? And then throw it in here. Let it just cut things down a little bit to make it more digestible export it and then go from there like i said the only caveat is if you're messing with say like av1 uh you will need to uh remux that and change some settings but other than that man uh i mean this could definitely save some time uh you out there especially who are doing your own edits uh, like i said the link will be in the description but go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think after you play around with it in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a, a video out of this after I play around with uh, some settings and I'll give an update uh, in the comment section. But this has been Agent R. As always, B.
be the meta. Peace.